Welcome sa zip9.com uh, In this video, isa summarize natin yung ating napag-aralan sa addition and subtraction of integers, no? And, uh, doon sa addition, no? Pag tayo ay nag-add ng dalawang integers, pag positive plus positive, no? Positive plus positive, well, we are just adding yung number na nakasanayan natin simula ng elementary. So, this is of course positive, no? And, pag negative plus negative, sa previous videos natin ay, uh, of course, both are movements or movement to the left of zero, no? Or pag dalawang negative numbers ay uh, negative din yung sum, no? Well, what about positive or positive plus negative, no? Well, pag positive plus negative, kung maalala niyo yung ating uh, example sa number line, ay depende sa distance na tinravel niya from zero, no? So, for example, ang positive mo ay mas mahaba, no? Ito yung positive mo mas mahaba. Or, may represent natin siya as blue usually, no? Pag tayo ay nag-aaral. Pag mas mahaba yung positive mo, tapos yung negative mo naman may exe. From here to here. So, syempre, nandun ka pa rin sa positive, no? Na, ang sagot mo ay nasa above zero pa rin. So, ang tinitignan natin actually is yung distance from zero, no? Yung distance na natatravel ng dalawang, dalawang line na to, no? So, kung alin yung mas mahabang distance na natravel, siya yung sagot, no? So, yung distance na yan ay uh, napag-aralan din natin na yan ay absolute value. So, ang ginagawa natin dito, pag nag-add tayo ng positive and negative integers, tinitignan natin yung absolute value. We, so for So, we add, no? I mean, we subtract, kasi tinitignan mo dito kung saan siya hinto. Then, so, we subtract. Subtract. And, get the sign of the number with larger absolute value. So, absolute value is distance kaya palagi siyang positive. No? So, kung ang negative, ang number mo ay negative, gagawin mo siyang positive para makuha mo yung absolute value. For example, this is uh, negative 3 and this is positive 5. No? Positive 5. Ang mas malaking absolute value, pareho mo silang gawing positive. Ang mas malaking absolute value, itong positive 5. Therefore, ang susundin mo na sign is yung positive. Okay? So, marami na tayong examples dyan, kaya siguro naman kuha nyo na yan, ano? Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung mga previous videos natin, pwede nyo panoorin yung addition of positive and negative integers. Lahat ng series na yon at makikita nyo kung ano yung mga specific examples. This is, of course, sa addition, no? This is in, in, in addition. No? Sa subtraction naman, this is for addition. For subtraction, nakita natin from the previous videos na actually, subtraction is the same as addition. No? Ang ginagawa lang natin is um, kinoconvert natin yung uh, addition or yung subtraction problem into an addition problem. So, magiging plus negative b. No? So, pag nag a minus b ka, the same as a plus negative b. And pag meron tayong a minus negative b, we also turn it into an addition a plus b. So lahat ng klase ng um, lahat ng klase ng subtraction problem capture dito sa dalawang ito. Kaya lahat ng adi ng subtraction ay pwede mong gawing addition. Sinabi ko kanina, wala naman talagang subtraction in essence, no? 
kung 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 mag-aaral kayo ng higher math sa field theory, dalawa lang yung operations, no? Addition lang at saka multiplication kasi uh, ang subtraction is actually also adding the negative of a number. If you subtract the number, then you're trying to adding the negative of that number. At ang division naman, no? Hindi pa natin napag-aaral, but then nasama ko na rin sa discussion. Ang division is also multiplication you are trying to um, multiply the reciprocal no so for example a divided by b is same as a times 1 over b di ba so anyway hindi pa natin yan na pag-aaral but, but then nadadaan nandito sa discussion so i think with with these in mind ay um, kabisado na natin yung addition and subtraction of integers and i think hindi lang ito nag apply sa integers nag apply din ito sa mga decimal numbers tsaka sa fractions tsaka sa irrational numbers. Okay? So, so far, yan yung pag-aaralan natin sa addition and subtraction of integers. Sa susunod natin na pag-aaralan ay multiplication of integers. Again, kung gusto nyo mag-subscribe sa ating channel, sa YouTube channel natin, uh, kung nasa YouTube kayo nanonood, pwede nyo i-click yung ating subscribe button sa baba ng video. And if you're in sipnayan.com, Pwede kayong mag-subscribe sa ating email by typing your email dun sa email subscription box. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.